Ladies and gentlemen, to the final installment of the Sandberg Cable Network. This program is originating from the studios of Sandberg Junior High School in Rolling Meadows, Illinois. During this program, you will be learning about how a newspaper reporter prepares her stories, as well as a report from our student council. Also featured will be behind-the-scenes looks of the Rolling Meadows Sports Complex, how our yearbook was put together, and Cooper's Sporting Goods Store, the ones who made our shirts. We will also hear about a unique store that sells sunglasses and take a look at summer plans for Sandberg students. Oh, I can't forget my friends the Sandbergers. They will be doing two special readings. So sit back and relax as we bring you the Sandberg Cable Network. The following segment was taped in January when the conditions were a little different. Hi, I'm Mitch Eikens here, and behind me is the Community Center and the Park District of Rolling Meadows. The Community Center is located at 3705 Pheasant Lane. The facility handles special programs like handicap centers, preschool, and other fine, excellent programs, too. Now, let's go inside and talk to Mr. Nelson, Directors of Park and Recreation for the Sports Complex. Who got the idea for building the Sports Complex? The Park District conducted an attitude and leisure survey in 1969 through the community. They took the results of that, and it was determined that the community wanted a sports center. Uh, which would include an indoor ice arena. Um, where are they located at? The sports complex is located at 3900 Isle Drive, and the community center is located at 3705 Pheasant Lane. Uh, what are the ages that usually come to these um, community center and the park district? The park district provides programming for all ages. At the community center, we have taught programs that start with three and four year olds, including the preschool program and goes right up into our Senior Citizen Center, um, which has a top age of the age spectrum. Uh, what are the hours of both the Community Center and the uh, Sports Complex? The ice rink at the Sports Complex starts their activities at 5.30 in the, each morning and will go anywhere to 1 or 2 a.m. the next morning. The Community Center begins activities about 9 in the morning and will run 9.30 at night. And finally, how do you register to be become a member of the youth center. Okay, to register for any park district program, you'd register at the recreation office located at the community center. Uh, the, off, the hours there are 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, and 9 to 12 on Saturday. The cost of, becoming a, of joining the youth center is to purchase an identification card, which costs $10 for the school term. We would like to thank Mr. Nelson and his staff for showing us the excellent programs that the community center and the sports complex have for you. Hi, do you still have your yearbook from your school days? Well, here's mine. <laughs>